Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to discover how we can remove spots from our images as well as distracting elements. So we'll start here with this image and in order to select the tool I'll tap the Q key or we can select it. It's the second tool right here. You'll notice that there are two options. We can either clone or heal. So cloning is going to give us an exact match. Healing is going to help sort of blend the area that we want to correct in with the area that was the bad area that we want to remove. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on this image. I'll use Command Plus. That would be Control Plus on Windows. And we can see that we have a spot right here that I want to get rid of. So in Lightroom, I'm going to click right directly over that spot. And then Lightroom will automatically select a good area to clone or heal from. Now I've got it set to clone, so it's creating an exact duplicate. If I want to blend it a little bit better, then I can change it to heal. Now I'll hold down the space bar again, and I'm going to quickly look to see if I can find any other additional spots that I need to remove. Now, if I were just to move through this image very quickly, I probably wouldn't see the spots in the sky right there. So there's another tool that I can use. It's called Visualize Spots. As soon as I enable this, Lightroom is going to give me a black and white version of the image and look at how many spots I probably would have missed in the sky area. So I'll leave this turned on. I'll get a little bit smaller of a brush and I'm actually going to decrease the feather a little bit and then just click over each one of these spots. You can see as I do this, Lightroom automatically selects a good source point to draw from. Then I'll use the space bar and scoot over. Go ahead and remove these spots right here and then scoot over one more time and just check and make sure that there aren't spots over here. Well, in fact, there are, so let's go ahead and click these to get rid of them as well. Now, I could continue working, but I want to show you if you just want to undo the visualize spots. If you want to toggle this off, you can just tap the A key and you can use the slider here to adjust the contrast here to see more or less of those spots. So I'll tap the A key to turn that off for now and then we'll go ahead and zoom back out. All right, let's go ahead and move to this image for a moment because now I want to show you how to remove more distracting elements. Again, I'll zoom in using Command Plus or Control Plus. And this time, instead of just clicking every time that I see a spot because these little lamps are rather large, I'm actually going to click and drag. I will start with a little bit larger of a brush and then I will click and drag over the entire lamp, making sure that I get that center part. And then when I release the cursor, Lightroom will go ahead and try to auto correct that. And I think it's doing a rather good job. If we tap the H key to hide the edges there, you can really barely see where we've removed the lamp. So I'll tap the H key again to show the edges and the interface. I'll use the space bar to move to the next lamp and go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm just removing this area. Now this time it didn't do quite as good of a job. If I tap the H key, we can kind of see this area here. So I'll tap the H key again to show the spot from which it is selecting. And I'm going to just relocate that spot. I'll move it up and over here to the right a little bit until I get a better alignment there. Excellent. We'll go ahead and use the space bar again. And you can see how I can quickly remove all of these lamps making minor adjustments if I need to. If Lightroom doesn't automatically select the correct source for me, I'll just adjust that a little bit, maybe right to there. Again, tapping the H key if we want to see a before and after. All right, let's go ahead and just adjust these last two really quickly. I'll go ahead and adjust that one. Look at that, it picked a spot from quite a far distance away, so let's just help out Lightroom here and choose another spot that maybe aligns a little bit better. And finally, we can move up to the top here and we can adjust this by just removing it. Again, we'll see if we need to realign that. We can tap the H key to see before and after. And in fact, let's go ahead and just take that from a little bit further to the left. Excellent. All right, let's zoom back out. I have a number of shortcuts that I just want to mention that'll make using this tool much easier. First of all, if you use the backslash key, Lightroom will automatically select a new source for either the existing, the, the circle spot or that brush spot that I created. If you want to adjust the feather, 
the edge softness, you can do that with the feather slider. The opacity slider will help you if you don't want to remove an element completely, but instead you just want to kind of hide it. Maybe it's a little bit distracting, like maybe a highlight uh, reflecting from a piece of jewelry or something. And finally, if you have something like a a straight line, like maybe a telephone wire going across your image, you should know that you can click at the beginning of the telephone wire and then hold down the shift key and click at the end of the telephone wire and Lightroom will automatically connect those two paint spots and heal that entire wire at one time. So there you go, that's how easy it is to remove distracting elements as well as spots from your images in Lightroom. My name is Julianne Cost, thanks for joining me.